to really then to connect with that, that, that deeper nature, to connect to that true nature, which is again what this represents in another person. And however different their nature is from our nature, which is our way of being and our way of thinking, and, and my, again I say now my, my preference, my, my opinions, my values, again what I like, what I don't like, all of that stuff. It's, it's not, we shouldn't project that onto another person. Many times we do that. And that's why in relationships, many times we look for people who are basically just like us. Or just like also the, when, the way we look at the world. We don't see the world as it is, but as we are. And so it's really important to, to go beyond those perceptions in order to, to connect with the true nature of reality, which each and every one of us represents. We all represent our own reality. Or, or also the way you can see that, we all live on our own planet, the planet of our own creation. And we all orbit around each other and sometimes we attract each other and, and things go well for a while and then energies change because one, one person in their own reality you know, feels threatened by the other person because the other person said something they didn't like and so you know, the, 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 they begin war of the worlds. At first there's love, and, and, and we attract one another, but then also something happens that ch things change for the worse, and, we get, and, and, and feelings get hurt, and again the energy changes completely, it, it gets destroyed basically, we destroy relationships. It's totally unnecessary because we do not learn. If we would learn each other in relationships, we would learn how to not hurt each other. We would learn how to not, or to not, misunderstand each other. We would learn to understand each other. Because we would learn to understand each other, we would learn how to get along. And how to not then get disappointed or hurt or irritated by, for whatever reason. Because since all there is learning, everything the other person is saying or doing, we learn from that. We get to know them better. That's all there is. Again, it's so simple. It is so simple. A child knows how to do that and a child does that. Until we tell a child to be a certain way in order to fit the mold. Which is when the disconnect takes place. Which is when we become disconnected from this. We become like these machine beings, these, these robots or automatons, or the machines. We, part, we become part of the machine. And that's what that saying by John Stuart Mill is all about. That, and that's what this is all about. That's what these, these entire videos and Realize to Actualize, that's the whole point. That we are not machines. And, and it's, 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 we need to unfold gradually according to the inward forces which make us a living thing, a human being, a tree that looks like a dancer. Because we are alive and we need to learn to direct those forces. Instead of, which is all part of the old programming and the old consciousness, as we just go by our impressions and our evaluations and our expectations which we have of other people, we set ourselves up for frustration and disappointment and we don't learn. And so we, we don't, do not grow in this because we stay within our way of being. We want things to come to us. We want what we want. We all do. Let's be honest here. Let's be real. We all want what we want, how we want, when we want. That's part of what it means to be a consumer. But again, we are not that. That's what the new consciousness is basically all about. To remind you of who you really are. Or to go back to where you came from. To get us to start out again at the beginning. We need to open your eyes up and to see things for the very first time. And to be new. And to allow other people to be new. And to snap out of the that just being on a rat race and not having time and just trying to feed yourself, just trying to survive and struggle and every day basically the same stuff and continuing to go through the motions of life and nothing really changing. Everything is changing all the time. The question is, are you? I'm not here to change you. I cannot change you. And nobody can change anybody. But we have to learn from each other. And being changed by the experience of being with another person. And, and not just change, many times we are changed for the worse, where something is being said and, and one person gets hurt 
and then they feel offended, and then they get defensive, and then they get on the attack, and then everything gets messed up. Not change this way, that's the change in a bad way. We're talking about change in a good way. Where we learn to rub off each where we learn to rub off on each other in a positive way. And again, it's not just how we come across, it's about that we learn, that we really pay attention enough to one another so we can learn, that we care enough so we can learn. Sadly, it's also part of the reality of this world, we grow up not to care. We grow up to, to, to care and to take care of ourselves and to take care of our loved ones and our country, our society, our neighborhood. And then later on, my beliefs, my, my, my ideology, all of what's important to me. But that's why we, we, we have created, we were born into, you become separate. That's the whole point. And now it's about overcoming that separation, which is a journey back home, which is a matter of reconnecting with this. And within everyone in your entire life, everyone who comes into your life, you can connect with them. As you can learn them, you get to know them, you get to know yourself, and you get to become like this, natural. As we're part of nature, that's what it is, that's what it means. Arguments are unnatural. Violence, of course, happens in the animal kingdom, you know, survival of the fittest. But we human beings, we spiritual beings, should move beyond that. Should let go of the need to defend ourselves against others who we perceive to be ourselves attacked by, or, or our oppressors and trying to defend ourselves against them and to fight them. People we don't agree with, people we don't like, people who think who did us wrong. Even that, to an extreme example, when that happens, we can make peace instead of just steering the fire and then well, creating negative energy, sending negative energy to the other person, taking in negative energy and then feeling bad. Feeling like irritated by another person instead of being uplifted, instead of being inspired, <clears throat> instead of connecting with the other person. Especially like when, men, men, that's actually also the reason for why we're here to connect. Because, well, very simply put, people feel disconnected. A lot of people feel lonely and, and afraid. And, 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 and uh, yeah, they don't know how to break out of the box. I think we all want that to a certain degree. And that's what 2012 is about. That's what, again, we're here for. That's what this is about, the now, to remind you of that. And that again, not just as you're watching these videos and whatever is going on in your mind as you hear me speak, is <laughs> to simply be present. And again, not just here as you're watching this, in every moment of your life, because every moment is another now. And it's an opportunity for you to be present and to connect to this. If you feed off on something that you hear, that you see, that you don't like, and that irritates you and upsets you, you're not connecting to this. Because then you're connecting to something that, yeah, again, it's not this. It's not positive. It's something negative that you see, which in, a, in all reality also, and that's important to understand, it's not about that which you see. Now, many times we blame other people. We blame somebody else for you, know, you have irritated me, or you upset me, or you oppress me, or you're wrong. And so then argument starts and feelings get hurt and people go back and forth about stuff. That's not a natural way. Because a natural way is to simply learn. There's no need to go back and forth because there's nobody who's right and nobody who's wrong. There's only beingness. There's only experience. There's only learning. And even though if, if one person, the other person, does not want to learn, you cannot change them. That's all right. But you can learn and then decide, like, okay, do I want to continue this or do I not? I think it's time to be wise about that. And to break free from the old, same old, same old. The same problems and the same drama and just another day and just dealing with stuff. Because life is to be experienced, and through that, those experiences we learn. And through that which we learn, we create. 
through that which we realize, we actualize. Now that's something very important to look at. And that's what, again, this channel is here to remind you of. That's what Realize to Actualize here is to remind you of. I appreciate you being here. My name is Christoph. I am in the Bay Area, where I've been living for uh, since 2004. Before that, I lived in Kansas for 12 years, which was uh, one of my, well, an experience that really opened up my mind in amazing ways as I was also confronted with a lot of difficult things. Not to get into that now. And before that, I lived in Germany. I grew up in Germany. And I left Germany in 1991. And now it is 2012. Definitely. Wow. We are not in Kansas anymore. And this is something very new. This is actually about being new by being now. By being present. And I hope this video and, and the previous videos and maybe if you check out my website, realize to actualize.com, it sparks your interest to maybe learn a little bit more and really get involved in the process. And uh, if you do, I would be happy to talk to you further. You can find all my contact, contact information on my website, realize to actualize.com. And I appreciate you watching. All the best, and uh, which is all you got to do, you keep it real. Thank you.